Hey everybody, welcome to Keys Outdoors. I'm Mike Keys, and on this week's show, we're actually going to look back at a trip that we did in late fall with Jason Hammerneck. The reason why we're going back two years ago is because, well, quite frankly, this show has been one of our hottest shows of all time, and you, the viewer, have emailed us wanting to know if we'd ever think about running it again. And it was such an awesome show that that's exactly what we're going to do. And what we did is we hooked up with Jason and had one of the best single days of musky fishing we've ever experienced. So sit back and relax and enjoy this week's show from Lax, Minnesota with Jason Hammerneck from Musky Breath Guide Service. Everybody, welcome to Keys Outdoors. It's November, the muskies are biting. We're up here on Mille Lacs, one of our favorite bodies of water. I'm with Musky Breath Guide Service, Jason Hammernick. And uh, yesterday, Jason, we had a tough day out on the water. Yeah, we did. We had a couple fish, had a couple follows. You had one come up and eat right on a figure eight, and that one just kind of rolled off. But there was a few fish caught. Uh, it's kind of been an every other, other day thing, so hopefully today's the day. Well, and I'll tell you what, right now uh, it's supposed to be like 68 degrees for a high today, which is unheard of at this time of the year, but we'll take it. How's the donut? That's the excitement of our last two days, is eating donuts. <laughs> She's just rolling all over. Look at her just oh, belly. Oh man. Oh, this is a pig. Let's get this one, boy. It's been a tough couple days. Here we go, you big old pig. Yes! 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 Finally. Oh, a lot of hard work. I would say, and thick, really, really thick. Good. <laughs> Good job, man. Yeah, I think smoked it. <laughs> he was just rolling down there, just oh. whoosh, doing the old cold water cartwheel. Yeah. I can't believe he didn't kill it. Look at that. that bright dog again. Get the board wet here and scoop her out of there and see how long she is. See the fat ones, dude? Yeah, that's a freaking monster. I'm trying to cut your line here and see what together she grabs the line. You know that fat one? You look down at the top of them and they go like this and they go, whoa. <laughs> Nothing but this one there. Yeah, that's a big fish. I can't even tell how long she is because she's so round. My oh, God. Yeah. We're here on Lake Mille Lacs and we're, uh, we're fishing the Cisco spawn. We've been seeing a lot of Cisco's this morning, Jason. Yeah. Just uh, working these rock reefs and working a lot deeper water than we normally do during the summer. Kind of tell us about where we've been fishing, Jason. Well, we're just, uh, basically everything in the last couple weeks has been pretty deep. Before that, everything was on the high spot. A lot of Cisco's just started spawning. So you can, the Cisco's are up on the top during the morning. You can see them popping all yep. over, and that's usually when the fish have been biting. But it's, uh, it's it? about 11 o'clock. Okay. And uh, this past year, we made a little bit deeper, slid off the edge out in about 15, 16 feet, and 
Straight awesome, up. awesome fish. We gotta get. Let's see what she looks like. We got like. the board here. I'm gonna get these two rods out of the way. Nice. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, man. Look at that! Way to go, hammering it. Musky breath does it again. There's a fatty. Let's see what she weighs. What she measures out at. Fifty-two and a half. Almost well, fifty-three. Fifty-three. Go ahead. Let's get one better under girth. 24. Yeah, 24. 24. 54. Oh, way to go, man. Easy 40 pound okay, musky here. Lake Malax. Heart so heavy we can't even hardly hold her up. That's a big one. That is what you come here for in November, man. This is what it's all about. Huge, huge monster fish out here. Really, one of your best chances of catching a 50 pound musky anywhere in the world right now. That it is. Uh, all right, let's let that big old monster go, man. They don't need, need much revive time in the fall because the water is so cold. And talk about what time we're in, like mid to upper 30s pretty much everywhere, hey, dude? 37 degrees. She's going to be freezing up here probably another week or two, but we're out here for our last hurrah on the musky trail. And Look at the gut on that thing. Jeez. And that's what you can expect here in the late fall. Not everybody is out pounding the water, although there's a fair number of guys fishing here because of the bite. But uh, I tell you what, some of the biggest fish of the year. Every year come in November. Look at that thing. Go oh, awesome. Woo! Fine. Monster Malax muskies, baby, on the bulldogs. Tell you what, it's all about the bulldogs this fall, too. And, um, that was on that bright colored one. Yep. What is up with that? It seems like the really, really bright colors are going this fall. Yeah, last week the, the water's been real dirty this year, so I mean, I think that's why, but it's pretty clear now. I, I don't know, we threw Cisco all day yesterday, just nothing. Yep. Yep. And then now uh, we got a tip that uh, the old dreamsicle was the hot ticket and paid off. Worked out for us today. Let's go back to her and get another one, man. Congratulations. Huge, Dude. huge fish. And thanks, Brad Rue, for your bulldogs, man. I can't tell you how many big fish we've caught on them things. Jason just had one, hit him at the back of the boat. We got another. One more time around, Jason. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Freaking monsters here on Mille Lacs, man. Monsters, here we go. Come on. Get down, bro. Get down. All right, one more time around. <laughs> What these new musky innovations rods are. Look at me at Bulldog! Go on! In you go, girl. In you go. Monster! 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 Alright. Oh, Jason just missed one. Come up right at the back of the boat. Awesome, buddy. Yeah! That's a big one. That pounder is gone. Oh, we're gonna need some tools, buddy. Oh, there's the most better. We are gonna need some tools. Oh. It's gonna happen. Oh. Nice, nice call and coming back here. <laughs> 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 Bro. 
back again. Too. Way my biggest muskie ever. Way my biggest muskie ever. She had that pounder all the way to the back of her throat. Only one hook in the side of the mouth. So we got it all caught. We're gonna leave her in the water just for a couple seconds here and like make sure she's gonna be fine. But Woo, what I a know big she fish. will be, and I'm just shaking. What a big fish. What a fiasco oh that would have been God. if we would have hooked up with both of those at the same time. Yes, I come up on the back side. I come up on the back side right there and go into the L turn. Never seen it coming. Big fish. Open its mouth wide. I mean, just boom, missed the bait. My bait got hooked on my rod. And I was just about to say some profanity, and he's like, I got one! So I mean, it was literally seconds, seconds from a double. Oh man, what a huge Unbelievable. fish. Unbelievable. Biggest fish of the day, our second 50 in the net. Let's take a look and see what we got. This one was on the Pounder Bulldog. Oh, what a hog. Big old Wisconsin. Huge, huge musky baby. That's what we're here for. Look at that! All right! <laughs> Look at the size of that baby, man. Tell you what, we've been fishing hard for the last couple of days. Hadn't done much until today. Finally got a couple of 50s in the boat. Awesome, awesome. Let's see what we got right there, man. 50, 52, 52 and a half. 52 and a half. All right, huge fish. We're gonna get her back, easy 40 pounder. Ooh, there goes our net, scoop the net. Dude, our net. I got it, I got it. <laughs> We don't want to lose that. Oh, look at that thing. Huge fish. You ready to go? Man, that's a big, look at the stripes on that thing. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Way to go. Nice looking Thanks fish, buddy. <laughs> oh, what a day. we we'll recover our net here. The day of all days. How long was it? Huh? How long? 52 and a half. A huge. And there she goes, baby. Right, Another 40 pound and back down. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All about Musky Innovations Bulldog, too. I tell you what, two over 40 pound fish this morning on them. If you guys aren't fishing with Musky Innovations products, you definitely need to check them out, especially the mag dogs. Absolutely. Oh, well, let's deal. get back at it. We got another 40 pounder there, almost eight right at both. So <laughs> we're in a little window here. Well, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, we're on Mille Lacs. It's uh, November, hunting for some big muskies. Got two in the boat already. But one of the questions that we get asked a lot at sports shows and on the website is how do you work a bulldog? Well, you know, there's many ways of working it. And what I'm gonna do is ask Jason that, who is the master at the bulldog. Jason, typically, how do you work a bulldog? There's a couple different presentations that I use, uh, varying it from summer to the fall and even what I consider almost winter now. I mean, we're talking 36, 37 degree water temperatures. Uh, basically, I'll cast this out at like, you know, in August when you're, you know, when you're in the cabbage, you're going to work it a lot faster with a lot of double pumps, uh, ripping it up. And when you hit that piece of cabbage, that's the, that's the key to, that's why some people, a lot of people do better than others is when you, when you hit that cabbage, you got to snap it. And if you if you pull on it like that, you'll just you'll rip the cabbage out, and then you get you don't get no fish. But in the fall here, we're working it real slow, and you kind of want it to hang there. And there's kind of an art to it. As far as on the pull pause technique, you just want to you want the bait to kind of hang there, so you want to give it just a minor amount of slack. Because what it does then is it'll kind of it'll go up like this, and then it'll kind of float and shimmy down just a, just a little bit. But you don't want to give it so much slack that you you don't feel the bite. So that's basically how you work a bulldog. There's no real wrong way of working a bulldog. Mike, I also want to point out that there's definitely an art to casting these. Uh, you know, when you first get these things, you'll cast them out and this will wrap around this, it'll wrap around that. There's uh, a certain way you want to lob it out there. So you really load the rod so the bait just flies through the air. It's not doing one of these dangling things, but you just want to bring it back and load it and just lob it so it loads and then fling it out there and it'll, it'll be how, how less tangled you get. 
and that's uh, as far as the pounder goes you got to make sure you got a pretty stout rod you know the, the real whippy ones don't quite work as well because it weighs a pound so you just want a little bit it's the same kind of cast so it's that lob cast but you just gotta sling it out there it's not a snap cast like you know bucktails or jackpots or anything like that it's a totally different cast so it takes a little while to get used to it but once you do it it saves a lot of downtime which increases your fishing potential uh, we're fishing the cisco spawn and in the fall these, these ciscos come up and spawn on all the reefs out here and um, basically the whole west south and east side of the lake has several rock structures that hold these fish this time of year and bulldogs are really a great way to go after them but of course bulldogs can get chewed up they're a rubber bait and uh, when you're catching fish the size that we've gotten today they're going to chew your baits up um, so it's definitely nice to be able to repair dogs while out on the water and what we use is just this little torch here and uh, Sometimes when you get tooth cuts and stuff around the head or the tail gets zipped off, um, you can quickly uh, weld these things back together just by adding a little bit of heat. And we can repair our dogs and we're ready to go. It'll, we won't have to worry about, uh, you know, our head ripping out or, or a tail falling off. And sometimes you only have one of the color that you want. Like today, we only have one of these super mags in this color. So um, the fish obviously like it. So we want to keep this one in the water. Yeah. 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 Fish on, man. All right. Number three for the day. All right. All right. You want to bring her back around the other side? Oh. I tell you what, they are just fighting hard today, Jason. The way they're rolling, doing the old cold water roll. Crocodile, <laughs> definitely. All right, she's going down again, man. Oh, that's really nice, girl. Move that rod, would ya? Oh. Got her good. All right, baby. Let's get this one in, man. Third one of the day. Oh, oh, is that a big fish, Steve? Another big one, too. Get her in there! Get her in there! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right! Woo! Yeah, get her bumping the rocks, man. I was bumping the rocks. I actually thought it was a snag. Bumped up off a rock and kind of just popped it up really high. Wham! Awesome. Another one on the pounder. I tell Pounders. you what, Pounders hot. This is what we call the Super Mag Bulldog. Not available in most stores. If you want to get a hold of them, give Brad a call or else go online to muskieinnovations.com. But pretty powerful bait, especially in the fall when we're fishing big baits, looking for big fish. Something a little different. Work everybody twice else out today, here. man. Cool. It's just something a little different. Everybody else out here is throwing the, the regulars. Cause, yep. Cause it, hurts, it actually hurts to throw that one. It does. <laughs> it does. It's not for everybody, but I'll tell you what. I'm not out here just to catch a little one, so. That's true. Water temps are literally 36, 37 degrees. All right. Oh, fatty. Awesome. Another sweet Malax musky, man. We're having a great time out here fishing with Jason Hamernick, Musky Breath Guide Service. And that is what you can expect out here, eh, baby? It's a nice one. Another gorgeous fish. Let's see what we got. Oh. Look at the gut on that thing. Ah, she's a little bit longer than I think, too. Oh, yeah, 47. 47. Nice thick one. They're just so fat, they don't look that long. Yeah, probably a 30 pound fish as well. Gonna get her back. Hopefully, get another one here. These bright colored dogs have sure been doing the trick today. Awesome fish. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> oh, having a blast out here. Thanks again there. I'm fishing with the Scottish Fisherman Guide <laughs> Service here today. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of heat over my pants. Jason oh, Lucky Hammernick. Oh, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucky.